today I make my debut in Comp Pro Am. I've had tons of subscribers asking for more and more Pro Am videos ever since I posted my first one, but I've never really taken Pro Am serious. I placed high in the 5v5 2K League event in 2K23, went on to compete in the Combine and beat a lot of great players while leading the Combine in three point percentage and field goal percentage. I even made it past the Combine all the way to the private 2K League tryouts and was even offered a 2K League contract to be eligible for the draft. And then in 2K24, I won the 5v5 2K League event again while dropping some absurd record-breaking stat lines in the process. But I did all of this with zero Pro-Am experience. So today is where it all begins. Should I play point guard? Should I run five out? Should I run a pick and roll offense? Should I play on a smaller build or a taller build? Should I join another big comp Pro-Am team or should I start my own team? Let me know in the comments, drop a like, and subscribe if you want more Pro-Am videos. And let's get started with my 2K24 Pro-Am debut. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, AKA Double H, and we are on our way to the Pro-Am Arena right now. And all of the footage I'm gonna show in today's video are some comp Pro-Am runs. They're all private Pro-Am matchups, so not like some public ranked 5v5 Pro-Am, because I joined basically this like private Discord filled with a bunch of 2K Pro-Am sweats to get some actual good competitive runs in. Also, I haven't decided on a team, a build or anything. So you're going to see me on this 6-6 build right here in the video. But yeah, it's not going to be my actual pro -am build. I'm still deciding what I want to do when it comes to like PNR, 5 out, or what kind of build I want to run. You're also going to see me playing with a bunch of different teammates in today's video as well. But let's go ahead and get started with game number one out of 10 of these crazy good pro -am competitive games I got into this past week it's gonna be a good one but let's go ahead and get into it game numero uno of the video we got a long banger pro -am video that i know y'all have been waiting for y'all have been asking for so i got some just competitive pro -am gameplay like i said these were just some practice runs that i want to get into i haven't really had any experience in competitive prom so i was like okay let's get some practice runs in i have a bunch of different teammates that i use in today's video and a bunch of different opponents in today's video we even run a series against another pro -am team i'm gonna like mark in like the i think there's like chapters in the youtube channel that you can like or on the YouTube video that you'll be able to see like what series was what, what game was what. So I'll put that so you guys can skip around if you want to skip around. But if not, watch the video all the way through because this game right here was a crazy start to our competitive Pro-Am uh, runs that we had uh, this past week. Okay, so as you can see, this game, I was doing pick and roll with my center. Uh, we start out by getting a defensive three. Solo somehow misses with the 99 free throw. It's okay. We're all, he, he was on a new Pro-Am build. But anyways, I was starting, you know, with the pick and roll. Look at, I'm getting behind the screen. I'm moving good right now. Get a three to start the game. And yeah, I don't know if I want to do five out or pick and roll like I said in the beginning of the video. But yeah, in this game in particular, we were doing mostly pick and roll. You see, I shoot right off the catch right there. Not the best shot, but it's greenable, man. 44%, still greenable. But I get the next shot. You know, I'm not missing two in a row. So I'm already two for three to start this game from three. And hey, getting threes on a point guard is... Not the easiest job when you got a bunch of lockdowns hounding you, but look at this right here. We're going to slow this one down. Look at the dot to my center. He's on like a footer that can shoot the ball. He misses though. It's okay. The little big thing about Pro-Am is learning when to pass, who to pass to, when to shoot, when not to shoot. There's a lot of IQ involved in Pro-Am. And as long as I'm learning that, and that's all that matters because that was a great pass right there. But anyways, throw a bad pass right there on the back door. Chad probably should have shot that shot. Bails out. So we're up six to four. We fouled to avoid the break, but it turns into a transition foul. Unfortunately, I give up a back door. It's okay. We're two for three. It's a tie game, but look at me hunting for threes. I got a lock on my left, a back end in front of me, but I'm just shooting. I mean, that's a great pocket shot by a boy right there. And we have nine points already to start this game. I have all my team's points, but hey, on defense, bad defensive possession right there. But hey, I'm not done yet. When I tell y'all I was cooking, I was cooking. I mean, oh my God. I'm fucking like frying this team right now. I mean, where 
is that lockdown going <laughs> i mean bro i'm cooking up right now four for five from three to start this game and we're only up by one that's the e-league midi Oh, 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 it's getting a little hockey in here, isn't it? I mean, you can see my teammates are even like, damn, like you are going crazy. 15 points, 83% from three, but our defense is not looking good to start this game. I mean, we're up by two points and I am going dumb right now. I have sharp take. I hit Jay Curry on the slip solo in the corner unfortunately misses that but that was actually a really good shot right there we're trying to get back on defense our build doesn't have much defense and that dude pulls up for a nice little midi right there good shot we're down four going into the second quarter i mean i have uh yeah beefy right here on the right side yeah but i don't see yeah, this ain't regular right game mm. So oh, my Ooh, god. oh my god bro i'm the greening heavily threes i'm in my bag right now i mean i'm calling out plays i'm starting to learn a couple things i'm starting to really three hunt on my six six i mean imagine by the way look at this pass right here look at that read i see the point guard kind of come up a little bit i know he has low defensive stats because most point guards do in the prime and i hit solo with the dot no 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 i don't want to foul switch so switch yeah we're getting good at this uh-oh you just jinxed so, yo, bro. Yo, bro. As you can see, our defense is struggling a little bit, but it's all good. It's a tie game. I got 22 points, but look at this read right here. Yeah, the slip is open, but sometimes I got to just let your boy work and look at me work out. Another three ball. We have 25 points. I am absolutely cooking this team right now. It doesn't matter if a lockdown is on me. It doesn't matter if their second best defender is guarding the uh, role on defense. I am genuinely going crazy right now, but we take a dunk right here. I have 27 points at this point, but as you can see, look at Solo's my player, bro. Something bad happened. Where's Solo, Solo going? going? Bruh. Solo. Solo. I mean, bro, I was on pace for like maybe 60 plus points in this game. And our lockdown, one of our most important positions, lags out. So now the offense is going to be kind of cluttered with the AI. Now the defense is completely ruined, but we're going to try to make it work. I mean, we were up by seven, but you see a couple minutes later, now we're only up by one. I can't score as much because now the defense has more attention towards me, especially with an AI. I mean, our AI lockdown is at the left wing, and that field doesn't have the most range, but look at right here slow motion i get the center to help and jump the center's back is completely turned and i get a nice dot to my center like a little dump off pass that my center wasn't even ready for and we get the easy assist right there i hit him on the roll again and right now i'm stacking up the assist i have takeover we have 29 points and oh my gosh heavily three dude i'm going insane i mean you would think i've been playing pro am I mean, wow, I'm in my bag. We get him with the contact dunk, and I have 34 points and six assists, and we're somehow down by six. I mean, we have an AI player, which is a massive disadvantage. We get a little give and go on the fast break, get the easy dunk. Good D. Oh, trailing. Got me, got me, got me. All right. <laughs> I mean, we're yeah. down one, bro. This is crazy. I mean, you you heard the live commentary. Like, I was stunned that we were down one. We're having good communication. We're locked in. Chad's hitting yellows. We're down three right here. We They miss a wide open three. I mean, we have chances. Unfortunately, I catch the ball in transition only at the two. Could have been a three, but I have 41 points and seven assists right now. We are down one point. I dot Wooson wide open in the corner after the double team, and he hits it. We're up two, but a couple minutes later, now we're down three. A minute to go. We need a bucket. The defense attention is towards me. I dot my center and he misses. Open with takeover. And that's just genuinely unfortunate. Now, we could have got a stop right there. Didn't get the rebound. We foul. Go down five. And unfortunately, we end up losing this game. But hey, this was an insane game. I had a 45 and eight. I thought I was making some good reads. I thought my teammates were doing some things right. So overall, not a bad first game, especially for an AI player as a teammate for 75% of it. Now we are in game number two, the game before we start a best of three series against another Pro-Am team. And this game was going to be pretty interesting. And the reason I say that is because we are matched up against a lockdown that has a 99 steal. Yeah, you're going to see some pretty crazy lockdowns when you do play comp from that has some pretty crazy stats. And yeah, this guy had Hall of Fame glove. You think gold glove is crazy? 
try Hall of Fame. And this is my teammate telling me my matchup. They have a 99 steel lock. Have fun. I mean, wow, it's going to be an interesting game. But hey, we up for the challenge. First play of the game, I dot solo because he has the small guard on. That was actually a good shot. It was an open. He misses. Good pass. Good shot. We'll take it. It's a good possession. We swat the ball out of bounds right there. And this dude does a standing dunk meter in the paint. Some of these centers are some dogs out here. Like, the, the standing dunk meter is really overpowered. But anyways, we're going to the lane. And oh my gosh, get on that poster. Y'all must have forgot I have a 94 dunk on this build. I didn't really show it off the last game. But yeah, we can get crazy with it, okay? Yeah. I'm there. Yeah, what? Yeah, so this lockdown has a 99 steal, and he's hitting heavily corner threes. But anyways, we get wide open on the catch and shoot. I go ahead, get that three right back. And we got a two-point, now one-point lead. This dude shooting Fady Minis, honestly, a great shot by him right there. And now we're trying to get a good bucket here on offense. I got the ball. I could have probably hit uh, the center on the cut right there. Probably should have. But look at this post score right here. Or not this post score, but you're going to see that right here. The center gets the offensive rebound. And look at some of the things that you see in comp. I mean, he's shooting post hooks from the free throw line for a little quick, easy bucket. That's crazy. We draw a foul right there. He takes me out of my green dunk meter. And I don't even have a crazy free throw on this build, but we knock him both of them down right there. We're down one. My second, the second ball handler on our team has the ball. Chad, he gets to create some space, gets a three. Now we got a little lead, two point lead. I'm dotting our center and he gets blocked with like 0.2 seconds left in the quarter. So that's actually a big block, like two points in a close prime game could really affect the game down the stretch. But you see, we're dotting up, we're making some plays. I'm trying to get it open. I'm trying to dot the corner, trying to create some space off ball. He reaches and we get the open three off that and we go ahead and knock it down. You got to knock down your open shots in prime. Like that's a big thing I've learned is if you're not making your shots, you're putting at your team at a huge disadvantage. But look at the little filet layup, okay? We got a little eight point lead going on here, but that play they ran, y'all probably didn't see it fully developed right there. That was a good play. They end up getting a three out of it, but look at this corner dot. I see the center or like the, the whatever that position was kind of drop from the corner a little bit, dot him. And hey, if I have a higher pass like you see, that's not going to be a yellow green. That's going to be a wide open green. I got to get higher than a 77 pass like, which is what I have on this build. But look at me front fading from the three point line. I'm getting confident out here, y'all. I got heat check. I got sharp takeover. Y'all already know I'm putting up a shot. But hey, look at this. Oh, did y'all see that? Did y'all see what we just did right there? Let's, let's get a replay. I called that a back door and then replace him. So back door, I replace his corner because they're running a 2-3 zone and I get wide open off it. Yo, let's run Bucks. Let's run Bucks. Go to the other side, chat. Bucks it, Bucks. It. So if you guys don't know what Bucks is, that's another play I just called out. Basically, you give the ball to the center, and both the shooting guard and the point guard wrap each other to try to create some space or get the lockdown off me. It Bucks it. He's gonna switch. Yep. Run back. Yep. Nice. Sweet. That's what I was thinking too. You know exactly what I do. So that play actually worked to perfection. I got the 99 steel lock off of me, and I got a, and I scored. I got a three. You see, we're on the fast break here, and oh my, look at Vortex with his Dennis Rodman build shooting fadeaway three. That, that don't look like Dennis Rodman to me. That looking like, I don't know, like LaMarcus Aldridge or something, but look at me. I get the bad fade animation, but I still green it. We adjust mid shot timing. We're up 19 at this point. Absolutely going crazy. I'm catching the ball on the fast break. I'm dunking it, and that's going to give us 26 points going into halftime right now shooting a hundred percent from three six for six from three an amazing first half giving us a 17 point lead and we even scored 31 points in that second quarter right here catch a shoot in the corner not a bad shot i mean it was like a 30 percent contested it's greenable but that's a big swing right there so now they're down 14 after that shot right there about three minutes to go in the third trying to get a reset on the off ball movement you see the lockdown he's got a 99 steal he's reaching i'm going to the basket though and that's an easy dunk right there now y'all gotta let me know in the comments like do you think this pick and roll offense looks better you're gonna see some five out. i don't know i feel like i'm gonna be a little better with pick and roll i'll probably do both like not just one definite like thing you know what i'm saying some plays i'll do five out some plays i'll do pick and roll i don't know it depends on who i play with like i have no idea who i'm gonna be playing with uh, for the most part, I really got to get some set in stone teammates. But anyways, we're up 15 right here. I dot our seven foot center and he greens that shot right there on the fast break. And look at, we are up 17 points. I'm dropping from the corner right there. Terrible defense by me. I get caught lacking. And now it is a 14 point game. And 
We're starting to blow this lead. We're about to blow this lead, man. We're about to blow it. We're about to blow it. Step 17. Now we're up nine. <laughs> I mean, you, you heard me. I was like kind of tweaking out a little bit. I was like, yo, my blows lead. We got to be careful. I get the layup right there. We're up by 11. Four minutes to go. 11 point game. They got mama mentality takeover. And that dude is in his bag. He's starting to get up threes for them. It is a nine point game. And I have 37 points, only two assists. And the 99 steal lock almost gets a steal right there. I hit my center for the mid range and he knocks down the easy assisted bucket right there. 11 point game. They hit the pop, play take, sharp take, mamba, mamba. And that's green. Eight points game. Now a nine point game. They get an easy dunk right there. And time's ticking though. A minute and 10 to go. They need a bucket. They take the easy two. It's a five point game. They need stops and they need stops right now. I hit solo on the flare up wide open three. Actually not open 30% contested and he misses right there. So if they can get a bucket right here, we got a ball game. Lockdown tries the back door, but I'm there. He replaces run. He ran the play that we ran earlier. If y'all remember, and we are there. We contested it on the fast break. I'm Don Vortex. He gets that shot. And that is the dagger. Our second game, we had 37 points, four assists. You're going to see a lot of high assisted games. So don't think I'm just not, not passing the ball or something. I was just going off that game. That was just my game. We started six for six in the first half. They didn't shoot very well in the second half, but we still went crazy. 37 points, four assists for our second game. And let's get into this next series. So now I'm going to show y'all a best of three series with a team that is in a pro-am league that is called the Lions. This team is called the Lions. They got a lot of players on the roster, so you're going to see them kind of switch out point guards, switch out a couple other players. But for the most part, they stick with most of their guys here for throughout the entire series. Now, this team was very good. Uh, this was one of our first practice games we had right here. And you're going to see this is game one right here. So whoever gets to two wins first wins the best of three series. And it's not for any money. It's just it's just for fun, just for competitive runs, just to get better. OK, so you see they got their point guard out here. JT5 getting out here. They're on the pick and roll offense. They got a big seven foot center that actually can't shoot. They're running an inside center pick and roll offense. And they start uh, by, we start by getting a defensive three second violation. So not looking too good. A back door, the Vortex who was on our team the last game is on the other team because he plays for this Lions team. He's flaring up on the right wing. He's getting swats right there. I dot solo right here on the wing. Could have gone corner, but I know the better shooter is solo right there. So I hit him. We're down one point and you're gonna see things get a little ugly here. Uh, this is really one of those games where it's obvious that me and my teammates uh, don't have a lot of problem experience. You see, we get the dunk right there. That was a nasty dunk, by the way, if y'all didn't see that. We didn't put that dude on the floor. But this calling guy right here was like a seven foot inside center and he was giving us problems. He was giving us, oh my God. <laughs> no, that dunk was crazy. We need an instant replay. Nah. Oh, bro, I'm telling y'all, I am a problem with that dunk meter. We get the catch and shoot, pass it up for an even more open shot to solo right there. But like I was, like y'all are gonna see in the gameplay, that Colin Center was giving us problems on the rebounds and in the interior in the paint. Y'all are gonna see it play out in this series. But we're only down two points right here for our first game in this competitive series, which is not too bad because this team obviously plays pro and more than us. They've also played together probably a couple times and it's not looking that bad right but four point game that steal right there i only have one adrenaline and this game i was running five out i was testing five out and honestly i don't know if i was really doing as well as i thought i was gonna do you see i get a little mid-range right here but i think i'm more comfortable with the pnr for whatever reason i like iso better on the 3v3 court the twos court obviously the ones court uh but for whatever reason in pro-am I don't know. I I think I if I figured out five out, maybe I would like it better. But maybe I just don't have it figured out. I don't know. I was definitely more uh, comfortable in a pick and roll uh, offense. But look at this. Our defense was terrible right here. We all drop. There's wide open shooters everywhere, and we're down 11 points right now. It's just not looking good. They give Chad a terrible load up shot right there. He ends up shooting a heavily. They're on the fast break. We have no communication. Not the chemistry is not looking good. And we're down 34 to 20. This lockdown is bumping me. I got one adrenaline on the ISO, but what a steamer. Oh, now nah, that pass was pretty crazy right there. But look at, I'm getting ripped. We're down 14. They're going up on the fast break. The lockdown's getting a little too confident. He, he wants to shoot something. You could tell he dots orbit right there. And now we're down seven. 17 points 
things are just simply just not looking good as I take the contact dunk right there and push him to the floor. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Yeah, cool. I, it's a 90 overall. I'm playing against a nigga with a 95 rebound and 95 oh. defensive rebound. Get off my. You should be able to grab a rebound if you. Bro, his. Right, bro. his, his it's only, only two of them. Literally, yeah, everything. Two of nothing is going is, well. Nothing. Yeah, everything. Our nothing team is, is well. going well. So, All right, um, <laughs> you heard it. I mean, our teammates were arguing. My power four was yelling at my center, telling them, you know, you have one rebound to the other center, seven rebounds. It was just a lot of arguing going around. But you see, I start the second half with a three right there. I'm getting to the basket. I'm dunking on four. I mean, bro, I'm getting some crazy contact dunks in this game. I didn't realize I was going that stupid in the paint in this game right here. Maybe I just get more contact dunks because I ISO, but I mean, wow, I was going crazy. But we're down 12 points. It's not terrible, to be honest. And we're getting destroyed on the rebound battle. This lockdown was playing some good defense, though. But look at the fake cut by Chad. I dot him. And now we're just down 11 points. Uh, 14 now as well. We we got to just try to call on that lead. You see the, the lockdown's feeding for a steal. He reaches out the play. I get the easy catch and shoot three. 11 point game. I think we just we had a big problem with rebounds. You see, they were they were very good offensive team. And even when we did get a stop, they just got the offensive rebound. You see, Swags is just rattled. He's shooting pull-up threes with no take on a power four with a 78-3. I got heat check and takeover. And oh my, I'm putting the line down in a little blender, but does it matter? I'm we're down 14. It don't even matter. And we end up losing this game by 16 points. I had 28 and seven. Not a, I didn't even shoot that bad, but five turnovers. I was getting plucked a lot, making probably some bad decisions every, you know, here and there. The passing of vision is good for me, but it's got to get better in the pro end. Going into game number two right here against the Lions, we're down one up. If we lose this game right here, we lose the best of three series. Now, I'm pretty sure they were running the same lineup right here. I think they might have, yeah, they subbed out their point guard. But other than that, they had the exact same lineup out here and they had the same build at point guard anyways. So it didn't even matter. It wasn't really gonna affect much. But yeah, going into game two, we had to do a lot better on the rebounds. We got destroyed on the rebounds in the last game and we had to make better decisions on offense and also just play better defense overall, right? So. We get this scoreboard reset, right? We have a second chance. It's zero to zero. It's time to lock back in, try to fix what we did and what we did and didn't do in game one and go out here in game two and show out, right? So look at, we're playing good defense right here. 10 seconds left in the shot clock. We're clamping up that forced him into a bad shot. We actually get the rebound right there. Now, like I said, the other team switched out their point guard and we switched out our power forward. Uh, just to get another game in. I'm sure the other people just didn't want to play another game. But anyways, we wanted to keep playing. You see Chad misses an open dotted three um, or mid-range, whatever it was. It was a good play right there. But we can't be missing open shots. And we're down three to zero now to start this game. So we got to answer back. We don't want to go down too early again and play catch up bowl game. So I get the easy dunk right there. It's three to two, five to four. Now we're playing defense and j Dog is cooking up to start this game he gets them another three we're back on defense i mean it's 11 to 4 right now is the game already slipping away from us they get the easy slip we don't get the lane and once again that seven foot center that alperin sangoon build i think he has is just going crazy on us and we have no answer for it it's 13 to 4. i hit solo on the little front cut from the wing right there and we get a two we're down nine points i mean i got three guys running at me right there and i still got an open dunk they can't really stop my drive, but twos aren't really going to help, especially when we're not getting stops. But Solo gets a stop right there. We're on the fast break. I hit Solo with a nice pass right there. He ends up coming up clutch with a three ball right there. And now we're only down four. We were just down like, like what, 11 or something? But oh my gosh, this Colin dude with a putback done with 0.8 seconds left. I mean, that's huge in a game that could potentially be close, right? We just can't be giving us that up. The second chance points is, is crazy, but look at a little give and go right here off the back door. And we're only down five points. That's not that bad. We need to stop. j Dog is in takeover, though. And he was having a good first quarter. And right off the backboard, he's having a good second quarter, too. We are only down eight, but now it's starting to slip away. We dropped from the corner. We're down 11 right now. The, the defense is still not there. j dog has got takeover. And oh, my gosh, he's just stunning the defender. And now it's back to a double digit game. He still has takeover. They're hitting the seven foot center. He's kicking out to the corner of the corner. Where, where was Jake? I, I don't know what was going on in that possession, bro. I don't know what our defense was, but it's a 13 point game. It's looking like we're about to get swept. I dot Jake Curry, our footer. And hey, he hits a good three right there. Okay, 10 point game. We need to stop. Solo gets a steal. Okay, maybe we got some promise here. We dot Jake Curry again on the fast break. Back to back threes. Okay. We getting a little run going on here. That's what we needed. Seven point game. 
We need another stop. Orbit with the step back mid range. Actually, a really good shot. Doesn't get it, but lick it. That's the problem. The offensive rebounds. They get another second chance opportunity here, which was killing us in game one. It's killing us here in game two. They just throw up something crazy. They get another offensive rebound. And that is costing us this series right now. And we have no answers for it. They dot Vortex in the corner and they get a three out of all that defense. A 12 point game. We got my mentality guarding me. We got a lockdown on me. I'm still getting the dunk off somehow. It's a 10 point game. I'm going back door. I get another dunk. I got 12 points, five assists at this point in the game. And at halftime, we're only down eight, which isn't that crazy considering what's been going on so far in this game. I haven't even attempted a three pointer so far. Haven't been getting open from three. Really just been taking my twos and trying to create offense other where, but look, oh my, look at the dot. I see the, oh, that's a dot. j Dog was some, for whatever reason, was on the top of the key. He helps a little bit. He's not facing uh, his zone right there. And I dot him up for the easy three. Shout out to the chat for making that. We're on the fast break again. I dot solo on the fast break. Unfortunately, he gets a terrible fade animation. That would have been huge. And that is a five point swing right there. We could have been down just a couple points. Now we're down seven, but hey, we got to stay in it. I shoot a mid range and wow, a 38, 39% contested midi. Hey, I'm fighting. I'm fighting for us in this game. Five point game, sharp takeover to solo, to chat on the other side, bang, down two points. The comeback is here. It is a two point game. We need to stop a minute and 50 in the third. I somehow don't tip that pass right there. J-Dog comes out. He dots Orbit on the wing. He misses right there. And Colin with another offensive rebound. And that is absolutely destroying our team. This Alfred Sangoon build, bro. I don't know what the build is. I just know it can't shoot. It is destroying us. But look at this. I see Solo open off the cut. He gets the throwout pass. Another dot. 46-44. We're down by two. J Dog shoots a three. He misses. We secure the rebound. Shout out to the box outs right there. I dot solo. He hit. Oh, he could have hit me back right there. They fouled. That was a smart foul, but we're in the bonus. So was it a smart foul? No, it wasn't because they didn't have any fouls to get. Leave that, leave that corner open. J Curry, go paint right now. Oh, shit. Good fucking shot. Come on. Come on, bro. A great call up call out by me leads us to a three point lead. We get a stop. Shout out to Solo. We're on the fast break. Chad gets a great pass to me and I'm taking the easy two and we are up by five in the fourth quarter. Look at that third quarter. We won 20 to seven, a clutch third quarter, giving us the lead in the fourth. It's looking good right now, but we get a stop on calling right there in the paint. We're closing out. We're playing great defense, but we both jump right there. I don't know. We got to have, there's no chemistry. Not a lot of communication that's needed, and we give up the two, but we get the two right back. Three point game, three minutes to go. A stop would be nice. I'm walling up in the paint. I'm on that back door right there. J Dog with the mid range. He misses another offensive rebound. The offensive rebounds just keep coming for this team. I got a hand up on that. He missed again, and we finally secure the rebound. Now we're on the fast break. I got to make a right decision here. I'm slowing it down. They end up fouling. It's okay. We got our possession. We don't want to rush anything. A couple minutes to go. I go up for the dunk. Get it to go, and the dunk meter is coming up clutch right now. Five point game. J Dog looking for a bucket for his team right now to secure the sweep. And oh my God, he is cooking up, but he misses open. Maybe over dribble a little bit there. Maybe just mistimed his shot. But whatever happened, we got the stop. Solo's throwing to Woosin in the other corner. I'm like, okay, let's take this slow. We got to lock in. Five point game, two minutes. I hit Jay Curry on the quick slip. And oh my gosh, I told him the quick slip. And he quick slips into a pop. I mean, that was crazy troll. And that's a huge swing. It goes from us being up seven to us being up two. So that's a big deal. We end up just taking the tongue back. We're up by four. Minute and 45 to go. We cannot lose this game. We foul. They're in the bonus. Is he going to make these free throws? Clank. Oh my gosh. Sangoon at the line. Misses again. The clutch free throws are no good. A four point game. And it's looking like, a, especially if we score right here, that we're going to win. Now, Jay Curry gets a bad catch. We get a reset right here. Minute and a half to go. I'm taking it slow. I call it for a backdoor from Solo. He gets the dunk. And that was the right call as we take our six point lead. And if we get a stop right here, things are looking over. But they take their two, they're trusting their defense. 
They're looking for a stop right here. They're trying to blitz me. He doesn't get it. I get the ball out of my hands. Solo in the corner. Bang, that's the dagger. 62-55 with a 50 seconds to go. They miss again. We secure the box out. No offense or rebound for them right there. And we throw it down on the break. And hey, man, we locked in. We came back for game two. I dropped 25 and 11. And now this series is tied at one. Going into game three, whoever wins, wins the series. Not too bad. Game number three, whoever wins this, wins this series. And they got another new point guard. So this is the third point guard they've used this series. We've used another power four, but we're going with this same exact lineup we ran in game number two. And by the way, yeah, obviously I'm at point guard, so I'm going to be a point guard in this entire video, like the title says. But anyways, we got to lock in. Okay, first game, we lost because of all second chance points. Too many opportunities given to the other team to score the ball. And game number two, I think we really won because we were just going on so many runs, especially defensively in that third quarter. But anyways, it's time to lock in for game number three. We got to secure the reverse sweep in the best of three series. I hit Jay Curry on the slip. He misses that layup. Good contest by the defense. I hit him on the slip again. And right now, we got a little close game to start off this uh, first quarter. We get a stop. I'm on the break. I throw a steamer to Solo in the corner, and that's green, okay? Now, when I need to be a scoring point guard, I'll be a scoring point guard. But when I need to be a passive point guard, I'll do that as well. But look at the Sangoon bail getting the standing contact dunk. It's crazy. Anyways, off ball movement, and I'm just going right into the jump shot because that's green. I'm in my bag right now. 10 to 6. The point guard is emoting and then getting open for a dunk. Yo, it's he's getting a little disrespectful. Okay. I, I don't know. He, he might be looking a little too confident right now. We're up five points. We're playing great defense, but he gets to catch and shoot with that Patty Mills jump shot, and that's cash right there. Now, like I said, I could be a passive point guard. I see the point guard on the other team playing way too out of body out that corner. So I go ahead, test his defense, and we get a, a good shot right there by Solo in the corner, a good assist. But then again, on the other end, they're getting the off-ball screen. Patty Mills jump shot. Oh, boy. It's going to be a shootout, isn't it? We're down one point. We're in the bonus. I got three points and three assists to start this game. The end of the first, we get another assist. So we're up by one point going into the second quarter. And they're really just giving up a lot of slips. But they get a block right there. So good defense. They end up getting the fast break dunk. And now they got the lead again. Now, I got a lot of assists right now. You see, I only got three points. Usually, I'm scoring a lot more to start the game, but I'm just seeing who's open and I'm hitting them. But we get a nice little shot right there, destroying the lock off the screen right there. 21-19. Good rebound by Jay Curry. We're on the fast break. I dot corner. Oh, my gosh. My boy Chad coming in clutch in the corner. Five-point game. Look at the defense. We're starting to get a lot more aggressive in those lanes. I'm dotting Chad. And oh, no. Nah, that was a crazy pass right there. Y'all might have to rewind that. A lot of y'all would have passed that to the right corner. We dot chat on the left wing. We're up 29 to 22 right here. I have seven assists already. It's not even halftime, but hey, they're fighting. They miss a shot right there. We're throwing the break. I got takeover. I don't care about him. I'm shooting over those. Look at me. Hand down, man down. Is that what they say? Come on now. They're hitting Sangoon on the slips, calling whatever you want to call them. Eight point game. I got takeover. I got almost a double double at halftime. What are y'all doing in this situation right now? Are you in the center? Are you hitting the corner? Well, guess what? I'm pulling it. And that's green. We get the double digit lead right there. 50 seconds left in the second quarter. A good mid range right there, but he ends up missing. But we don't get the offensive rebound, man. That calling boy, man, destroying us in the paint but look at me making everyone jump i go ahead and dot the corner oh but it's too smooth with it come on now what the fuck this nigga was at the fucking that's, that's just a dot oh my god five five, five. i'm throwing steamers in this game but i knew my passing vision was getting crazy in this game you see i have nine assists 12 points at the half shooting 67 percent up as a point guard it's pretty good but look at that dot oh my that was a good passer there, but he misses. And at the end of the day, we're making our tough shots, and they're missing some of their easy shots as I get the contact dunk of the fast break. And we have a nine-point lead. Solo with the crazy steal right there. He's pulling up for three, but he misses. I ain't gonna lie, that's a good shot. He just gotta hit that shot if he's gonna pull up for three on the fast break. And going, that could have got us up by 12. They end up shooting a smart mid-range right there, 32%. And now it's just a seven-point game. I'm on the ice right here. I tell Chad to wrap. 
He gets wide open. Great shot. Somehow miss. Jay Curry gets the clutch offense rebound, though, and we still get our points, which is huge. We, you know, any second chance points, we will take. 47 39. I'm going to the rack, and hey, give me that lay. I don't care if you're there. We're finishing at the rack. Eight point game. The point guard is trying to fight for a three right now. And oh my gosh, he's going to get it. Five point game. We were just up by double digits. And now it's just a five point game. They're trying to press me. They're trying to double team me. They're trying to rip me. But we somehow get an opening. I mean, they're throwing double teams at me a lot. They're trying to blitz me. They're really trying to cause some havoc by throwing defenders at me we get the back door right there from the wing nine point game now we get another stop i'm bringing up the ball you see the point guards now hesitating to blitz me i hit jay curry on the slip he hits soul on the back door back out to me and i was shooting it oh my god that play was crazy that play was insane we hit solo on another back door right here this dude's flopping because he didn't get the lane and oh my i'm pulling right into my spot right into my shot 12 point lead now an 11 point lead i got a double double 24 and 10 and chad gets the steal things are looking good are we about to win this series get on the ground oh my lord that was disrespectful yo 15 point lead things are looking bad for team lions as it looks like we are about to close out this series and somehow go from down being down 1-0 to winning this series 2-1 we're up to 18 points it would take a miracle for this team to come back and yeah they're not gonna come back he tries to get the charge i dot solo he misses we get the rebound and our power forward dude hop back shots to the corner three that is green 21 point lead 23 point lead oh my he's reaching and i'm teaching as they would say another green and yeah, I mean, we're up by 27 points. We win that game. Complete blowout. I had 32 points and 12 assists. Just a monster game for me and my team. Winning that series against that team right there. Two to one. Not too bad. Definitely some good game runs right there. Now, I've shown about five games so far in this video. So I'm just going to give you all some highlights of four other random games I played. Right here, we're running a completely different, different team right here. Basically, at every position. And yeah, I'm just going to show a bunch of offensive highlights. I mean, oh, my, yo, that dunk right there was insane. I mean, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think I should be running. Should I run this 6-6? Six, six? Should I make a different 6-6 six, six with higher pass accuracy? Still get the 94 dunk. But look at me. Oh, my. A little hezzy into the three-pointer. I like that right there. But yeah, 11 points, four assists. I'm on the fast break. Front fade three. I'm getting confident. Hey, when I got my shot down and I'm confident, I'm a dangerous person to guard because I can really shoot that thing. But anyways, getting into another dunk meter right there. We got 18 points. You see, we're up by two points. It's a pretty close game. Uh, This was like... Uh, nah, I, I, this was definitely like the team I was playing with right here is definitely a lot worse than the team uh, that y'all were seeing in like the first five games for the most part. But yeah, we're up by two. So y'all already know I need to give him the carry. 23 points, 10 assists. We're up by 1.10 seconds to go in this quarter. We're looking for a bucket, right? Nine seconds trying to get the last shot in the quarter i'm going to the basket and oh my that was a small dunk meter but we still got it to go 27 points 14 assists and oh my gosh the sharp hey i already know when it's takeover is game over and look at that clutch three right there to give us a two point lead with 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter tie game with 30 seconds game on the line i make a smart pass to chat in the paint and i got 15 assists at this point we're up by two we need to stop and look at swags getting the game saving steal and Draco or Drake with the three pointer dagger, 33 points, 15 assists in that game. And we end up winning that one by two. Going into the seventh game, we're showing in this video. This was another good game right here, playing a solid team as well, a sweaty team. And once again, this team I was playing on right here was definitely not as good as the first five games that you saw of the teams I was playing on. Uh, but we end up doing a little switch we got solo on the team now compared to the last game i just showed i think we had like a lockdown that wasn't even a lockdown like i don't know what he was bringing out there but it wasn't a lockdown and he was basically doing nothing on the court anyways so we got solo out here on lock so that should be looking a lot better and we're playing a much better team than the last game as well so it should be looking interesting but once again i'm showing the offensive highlights look at me cooking up with the screen i was playing with an inside center by the way even the last game this center that chad is on right here who usually is playing two guard for me 
he was on an inside center so i didn't have the drive as much because they don't have to guard my center's pop anyways look at my three ball we were down 10 right there cut it to seven now it's a six point game and look at me just slicing right through the defense i like that john wall slicing through the defense that looked nice right there now we got a lead i'm cooking up i'm getting to my spots i'm getting to my three balls and that was a yellow too and we still hit that we're down four we've been trailing this whole game i flare up to the top of the key get the easy green right there i got 16 or 20 points nine assists we're up by two with two minutes to go basically been trailing this entire game right so i need a bucket i crab the defender get the three. Oh, that was a clutch three right there 51 50. i got takeover and i got one adrenaline bar we gotta make the smart play right here 55 seconds i shoot it i miss it but chad with the clutch offensive rebound that's huge almost throws a turnover solo for three gets it to go and with 48 seconds left it's a four point game now it's a six point game and after trailing throughout this entire game we actually somehow end up winning the game i had 23 points nine assists not the craziest stat line game but i had some clutch plays down the stretch to help the team get the dub and hey there's the dagger right there for y'all so hey 26 points and nine assists another solid game right there you know didn't shoot the best from three but we were shooting a lot of contested shots that game going in to game number eight of the video though like i said these are just highlights at the end here that i want to show y'all because we had some good competitive games here some close games that you're gonna see we're playing another good team right here they play in a uh, pro-am league where like a lot of i think there's like colleges and stuff so i guess they play for kansas uh or whatever so we're playing them and once again this team in this game right here i was playing with like a, i don't even think we had a lockdown on this team right here yeah we didn't so definitely not the five that i would um prefer in a pro-am game but hey i was just trying to get some runs in you see we're down seven to three early on uh i'm going to the rack and oh my the dunk i love the dunk meter man i think my official pro on build i gotta have a 94 dunk but hey they're disrespecting me they're trying to rotate i end up making them pay for it, get the three we're down three points i'm going to the rack over two defenders get the easy dunk we're down three points again here in the second quarter this is when i was testing out different uh dribble moves too in the prom i didn't end up going with these i didn't like the the lucas step back i think i was using in this game ended up not keeping that on but yeah 14 points four assists i got takeover 28 25 and with one adrenaline i'm shooting over those okay nice little shot right there i got takeover and heat check you already know when i got both of them things it's game over i'm greening that from the logo 36 32 takeover taking it to the rack i got 22 points five assists make it seven assists up by seven after a slow start in the first quarter little off ball decks into the mid range get the easy bucket right there and now we're up by double digits in this game somehow and yeah it's looking good i mean i'm playing with the inside center again this game so i don't even know how they were i don't even know how it was scoring as much as i was scoring especially in the paint with a 94 dunk build with playing with an inside center but hey it was working uh i get the loose ball right there end up getting this crazy standing dunk meter right there 28 and 11 yeah your boy was going off with these double doubles i was looking i was putting up like some uh, shea gillius alexander stats right here man i mean look at that we win by six points i had how, how much 32 and 14 oh your boy was locked in that game so that was another good game and the last game i'm going to show the video we ended up playing like i said this was like a discord with a bunch of comp sweaty um teams in this game right here we were playing against a seven foot center who i didn't know at the time but apparently he's like a coach for another like comp pro-am team and yeah they had some other sweaty players on their team i mean you just see by their names they had some sweaty pro-am names and i went off in this game i mean this is a pretty crazy game you're gonna see the stat line at the end of the video uh here because it's the last game we're showing you know early on i had four assists i was just making the right reads and now i got takeover and oh my god i'm just saucing up shooting over the lockdown and that gives us a little three-point lead once again i'm in takeover so after passing to start the game i'm getting in my bag that's a great shot right there by me i need to do that a lot more often that little pull up mid-range i gotta start adding that to my bag i get a little corner fade three right here to end the corner that was a nasty shot and right now i have it our team hasn't even missed a shot we're up by 10. i have takeover and heat check and oh my gosh i mean this lockdown is not messing with your boy another three right there 12 points 
five assists. I'm on the fast break. Sharp takeover going to the rack. <laughs> Putting him on the floor. I mean, we've gotten some pretty disrespectful clips that y'all have seen in this video, but right here, L2 canceling, trying to free up some space, get to my spot, pull up three in. I still have yet to miss a shot in this game, and I already have a double-double. 17 points, 10 assists, another fadeaway three. That's green. I still haven't missed. We're up 61 to 30 against a guy who's a coach for a pro-am team and some other sweaty players that are all in a competitive pro-am discord to get some runs in. I mean, we're flooding 23 and 10. Uh, we're up by 30 points. At this point, we're trolling, running like different plays. I'm going off the, oh my, over his head top on the back door lock. We're up by 20 right now. I could have probably put up a way crazier stat line if we weren't trolling for some of these possessions, especially later in the game once we realized we were up by 30. But yeah, 32 points, 13 assists. Look at this front fade three over the, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking crazy out here. 35 points, 13 assists, a crazy game. Very efficient first half. Hey, if y'all want more competitive program gameplay, let me know in the comments. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Let me know, answer some of my questions I had in the beginning of the video in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you follow my Twitch to watch me play live. And it's been your boy Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.